Hey, what's happening, Pokemon? Schmidt, this is Nail Legends smacking you guys in the face with another Pokemon Wi Fi battle. This is actually my very first upload to the Mosh Pit, so I hope you guys enjoy the battle. If you guys enjoy the battle, then go ahead and check out my channel after the battle. Uh, the link will be in the description. So, this is a battle against Pokemaster26, I believe. We're both going to be leading with Ambipom, but we're both going to go for the fake out. And uh, annoyingly, he's going to win the speed tie. So, yeah, I'm just going to switch, fearing a low kick, brick break, etc., etc. Anything that can pretty much take my uh, Ambipom out at this point. So, I'm just going to uh, switch into my physical um, wall Dawn fan. And it's going to take that quite nicely, but it's looking like a 4 hit KO at this point. So, he's obviously going to go for the taunt. I'm going to predict that and go for Earthquake because obviously he doesn't want me setting up my Stealth Rock because that's what Ambipom, Ambipom does. It fakes out and then it goes right for the taunt. So, I'm just going to go for the Earthquake and yeah, it's going to be looking like a 2 hit KO. I don't really have many attacking EVs on this uh, Dawn fan, so it's not going to do much. Now, he's going to predict the Ice Shard and go into something that can. Uh, take my Donphan out after taking the Ice Shard, so he's just going to go into Espeon, but I know since I am max HP, I should be able to take at least one Psychic, so I was like, come on, come on, please take it, 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 and it does take it, and I'm just going to hit it back with an Earthquake, and since I don't have many EVs of attack on this Donphan, it's not going to KO, I'm probably going to take some EVs off of defense and put it onto this for um, attack, we'll see. But anyways, he's gonna obviously predict the ice shard again because I did it last time. He's gonna show me another Pokemon, his Toxic Croak, which looks like it's gonna be a sweeper for his team. So I know at this point um, I'm gonna have to switch out and go into my special wall ignition, which is my Moltres. And even though it isn't a physical wall, it's obviously gonna be able to take the cross drop rather nicely from this Toxic Croak. So yeah. Um, it's going to take it nicely, it's looking like a Fort KO for him again, so I know he's going to um, switch out, so predicting him to go into something that can take the Air Slash, I'm going to go into Dugtrio. That was a nice switch I made, he's going to go into Flareon, now you can't switch out due to Arena Trap, so I'm just going to be able to take him out with an Earthquake, so that was really nice, really good play on my part, um, I guess he might have over predicted, I guess he was going to go in for a f um, Flash Fire. So no, I didn't go for anything. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess flash fire. So <clears throat> now he's just gonna take his chance. I mean, his time to uh, set up his stealth rock as I switch, because he knows he's. I'm not gonna leave it in a Doug Trio to this Gliscor, because I'm obviously gonna be choiced in some way. So I'm just gonna go for the rapid spin after on, um, he goes for an earthquake, because I know I'm gonna be able to live it, and I know I'm gonna be able to live another one. So. Uh, I went for the Earthquake, predicting a switch, actually, no, I knew I would be able to survive another one, but I just went for the Earthquake, predicting a switch, so I know I'm pretty much going to die this turn, but I know I'm going to go for the Ice Shard, but he goes uh, with the Stealth Rock, again, I'm, I'm not going to waste my time going for Rapid Spin, because, yeah, I know I'll live another Earthquake, but I still don't really care anymore, because I know Moltres, that was the main reason I even went for the Rapid Spin, to get Moltres, to actually be sent in, but I didn't need it, at, uh, so yeah, so anyways, he's gonna get a crit on my Don fan and take me out, the crit probably did matter a little bit, just because I probably would have been able to survive and get a little bit more damage on this Gliscor, but I guess in the long run it doesn't matter, so now he's, I'm gonna, he's gonna obviously predict the fake out, the obvious fake out, and go back into his Ambipom, so since my Ambipom is more awesome or, or whatever than his Ambipom, I'm gonna take him out, and I am life orb, so yeah. Now he's just going to go into this Espeon, and since I'm max speed, I know I'm going to be able to outspeed it, but he does outspeed me, which tells me he's scarfed, so, yeah, he's obviously scarfed, and now he's going to be locked into the Psychic, so I'm going to go into, uh, I'm going to show him my Houndoom, and go into Houndoom, and I know he's going to switch, so I'm just going to go for the Nasty Plot, so now I'm at plus two, and I can pretty much, I'm pretty much ready to sweep here, except for his Toxic Croak, or his Espeon, if he packs focus blast or whatever on it then he might probably be able to take me out but he's gonna switch into his gliscor as fodder go for i'm gonna go for the fire blast i'm guessing he thought i would go for the fire blast or the dark pulse right off the bat and maybe his gliscor would have learned um survived it but it doesn't and i'm just gonna go for the fire blast on this incoming vile plume it's gonna miss unfortunately and he's gonna be able to hit me back with a sludge bomb and i can tell that's modest max special attack vile plume or that's what i think it is and it's going to do a lot of damage not quite take out dr doom my hound doom 
and it's gonna leave me at red health and I'm finally gonna hit my fire blast this turn and take it out so that's really nice and now all he has really left is the toxic croak and the espion so he's gonna send in his toxic croak I guess saving his espion for later and he's just gonna revenge kill me with the sucker punch I didn't really see the sucker punch coming I I don't know I forgot totally about that and yeah so now I'm just gonna send in my Doug trio again and knowing um, he really can't do anything to me because I'll outspeed him because his base speed is way faster than Toxic Croak and he doesn't try to go for the Sucker Punch here maybe he could have gotten a crit and maybe taken me out but I guess that's the chances for that are rather slim so now he's just gonna go into his last Pokemon Espeon it's three to one right now and I know I'm probably gonna win this I'm just gonna go and hit Mon Lee see what he locks himself into and it's gonna be the Psychic so yeah I probably might have lost this to Psychic but then again I do have my special wall Moltres so I probably would have been able to just take one in Air Slash, but I'm just going to let him get my Hitmonlee, and I'm just going to go back into Duck Trio and go for the Sucker Punch, the Choice Banded Sucker Punch, and take it out. So good game, Pokemaster26. Remember, Pokemaster Pit, if you guys enjoyed my video, then go ahead and go in the description and come check out my video. I do upload Pokemon battles, mostly black and white, but see you guys later.